Happy Saturday, y'all. You want to support me? Go to Nene Marie 37 on IG and get a signed copy of my book. That's how you can support me. Smash that like button. Yo, it's your boy Trisha News, and I'm back at y'all with another one. Appreciate all the support. Thanks for everyone who subscribed to my channel. If you ain't subscribed to the channel, make sure you do. Make sure you join the membership. Shout out to the real mod squad, man. If y'all ain't following my mods, make sure you follow their ads at the end of the video, man. They all got good content, man. They got documentaries on one. One got interviews with G.I. Joe, K.I. Twin Brother, um, Lil P. Um, finna get Mama K.I. on there, some old people. Made Media Magazine. Go and follow my mods, man. All of them dope, man. Um, if you got anything extra, um, food, hygiene, clothes, bag it up, take it outside, man. Give it to the less fortunate. Remember, we all one step away from being homeless, man. Happy Saturday, man. I want to say let's say the kids, man. I got two stories for y'all today. Two stories. One exclusive and one just part of daily life, man, that's going on that need to stop. Um, so we're going to start off with the 800 fats, man. 800 fats. Y'all already know he in jail for the rest of his life. Ain't no possibly, ain't no allegedly. Um, he went on a robbing spree one morning. He decided to wake up and go on a robbing spree. And um, it resulted in a female, innocent female guard um, that started working an armor truck car for a year. She just started and um, she was killed that day. Her partner was shot. So that's an attempt murder. That's an attempt, two attempts that he got on the uh, other guards. And then he got the murder on the lady. Then he drove, robbed another store before he went to the destination over east. And um, him and his cousin was in the back seat. And um, two people was in the front seat driving. And one was driving. And they end up, him and his homie, end up slamming out. Him or his homie end up slamming out his cousin, Dewey Foe. That's a crazy situation, man. Because Dewey Foe was on live with him three days before that. And uh, fans were saying, man, don't go nowhere with fats. Um, Dewey Fo and Dewey Fo, man, I say, oh, man, the fans be tweaking this YouTube stuff. This my cousin, and he end up getting killed with his homie, you know, still don't understand that. And then, Fats, I reported about um uh, about a year, a year, about a year ago, a year, and a year and some change, Fats had um, attacked his celly. He attacked his celly, whooped him. His celly, whole time, was some kin to the victim. Of the lady who he up in there for, but he ain't know until he approached him about it. And Fats whooped his ass. They got the video on that when Fats attacked his celly. They got it on that. And um, now Fats had attacked the guards. He attacked the guards, um, threw feces on them, um, bit one of them. And he and Sir Mac, right? He in, he in the hospital right now. Whatever hospital he in, he in the hospital right now. But um, he will be getting more charges. He will be getting more charges. So if anybody can pull videos, make sure y'all pull that video, man, because Fats had to attack the guards. He bit the guard and everything. And this exclusive information, man, <laughs> firsthand information from a worker on that thing. You know what I'm talking about? So, yeah, Fats attacked the guard again, man. He's going to be going through a lot of that, though, because he finna sit the rest of his life up in there. Um, killing the armor truck guard, that's actually federal because the money is um, federal. Um, insured, so um, yeah, he can get the federal charge. Then they got the, all the guns, the murder weapons, and then it just came out about other shootings. And 800 was wild, man. Like, um, we talk about a lot of blocks, but you know, as the, as the paperwork come out, you start to see like they was deadly, bro. But people like Fats shouldn't be roaming the streets, bro. But yeah, Fats attacked the guard, man, bit the guard, threw feces on them. Um, they was transporting them somewhere. And he just attacked them. They was trying to take him out of cell to go somewhere. And he attacked them. Um, then we got two people killed, man. Two people killed. Double homicide over East. Two older people, man. 142-year-old, 145-year-old. Um, was shot down, man. Shot down two in the morning. Um, that area over there has been going up. I seen two little boys got killed over there on 80th. You know, right down the street. So, um, I seen two little kids get killed. But... They was little kids. They, they, was, they was out here toting. They was out here doing the things that, you know, a family could, couldn't have couldn't, couldn't, uh, ignored. They seen it, but they never did nothing about it. And um, these kids are dead now. 
Because when you go through their Facebook page, their real Facebook page, once they die, you go through their Facebook page, you see that it's adults up in there smoking with them, passing the blunts. You see, like, they video shoots. They in somebody's house. You know what I'm saying? Don't nobody say nothing about it, man, until they die, man. You know what I'm saying? We got we to gotta, we gotta stop um, being immune to this shit, man. It ain't cool. The summer ain't even here, man. And we got all these shootings, mass shootings. Um, TP got stood over in front of his kids. Um, some more kids got killed out west. Up north, they dying. People getting robbed and hijacked, bro. We got to have a better mentality, bro. Hey, you can only be in bullshit, man, when you ain't got nothing to do, man. Go and get your ass a job on everything. Try to take your family out the hood. You know what I'm talking about? If you got an opportunity to leave anywhere you at, that's bad. Hey, look, I promise you, you go somewhere else, man, you're going to live life to the fullest. You're going to live life to the fullest. Oh, and the last story, man. Memo 600 blocked me, man. He blocked me on my page, man. I'm the biggest supporter of Memo 600. I'm the only one that keep it real about wearing, your, wearing the daddy clothes. Steve dead. Your, your brother dead clothes. I'm the only one that give your props, bro. I just want to see you make it, bro. I just report. You know what I'm talking about? To show you, bro, like you ain't got no friends, bro. The first incident with the chains. You ain't had no friends after that, bro. Like, you got to stop going to get up with people. You got to stop, you know what I'm talking about, trolling. Handle your business. Stand on your business, bro. Only people you can impress at this point in your life, bro, because all your friends gone so or in jail. Only people you can impress, Memo, is your kids, bro. Your kids. You live in Atlanta. You had an opportunity to get out. You made a hit song. Everybody know you're around the world, man. It's time to interviews, profit, whatever you got to do. That's legal to profit, bro. You got it in your hands. You charge you 10000 I heard you say 10000 you want for an interview. Then for features and all that, bro, you don't need no record label. You already got your own shit, but you just don't push it. You don't push your YouTube with your music. You don't push your, you, you know what I'm talking about? You only push certain shit. You got to go back in the catalog and, and push steppers. A real hustler gonna push their old music and it ain't dead. Yo, your music ain't dead, bro, because it's old videos. Them motherfuckers can, you can share one time and that motherfucker do a million views. You hear me? I got a, I got a video that was stuck at one, um, 6,000, 6.1K on that thing. I, I shared it. I kept sharing it. That motherfucker had 2.7 million within six days after that. You know what I'm talking? No, within. Um, three months, but six days after I shared it, that motherfucker went up. Some millies. Hey, shout out to the Mod Squad, man. Happy 420 to everybody. Hope everybody, man, getting high responsibly, man. If you smoking, it's legal. Um, let's take care of the kids. Let's save the kids, man. Let's stand on something, bro. We got to stand for something. You know what I'm saying? Or we're going to fall for anything, man. We killing each other, bro. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody happy that we killing each other, bro. But, but, but other races, bro, they can only be one.